Have you ever felt frustrated, mad, upset because of something that happened? Either someone that you trusted betrayed your trust or bad things happen. Well, you know what? And you just want to scream out. You want to react in a way that may not be considered Christian or good nature like. Well, you know what? You're not alone. In fact, my I myself recently just had some huge frustration. I just lost roughly three hours worth of video editing uh, due to a certain problem on my computer. So I understand. In fact, you're not alone because in the Bible, we also hear some stories about people who were struggling with choosing the righteous path. First example is found in Genesis chapter 32. In that, we see Jacob. And Jacob, basically, he is had a nice life. He had land. He had things going great. And then all of a sudden, bad things started happening. He was literally chased away from his home. Things that he valued, um, his land and his property were taken away from him. So he barely escaped with his family and a couple servants. And he was at a river. And he got all of them across the river. The only one left on that side of the river was Jacob. And he pulled the raft over and he said, all right, God, let's have it out. And Jacob actually wrestled God, which I highly wouldn't recommend to do, but he had to let it out. He had to let his frustration out. Another story that's in the Bible is actually found in Psalms 17. In this, we uh, basically hear a prayer from David. David was king at the time, and at the time he had all these people who were um, trying to use him. They were trying to bribe him, trying to make him do certain things that he didn't feel right. So basically, he prayed to God. He's like, God, I want you to look in my heart. I have no ill will. I have no ill intent. I'm trying to live a righteous path. Please help me. What we can learn from these two stories is this. There are going to be times where we're going to have that frustration, where it is going to be difficult to choose the righteous path. But some of the things that we need to do is, like Jacob, when we just can't handle it, remove ourselves from the situation, take ourselves, you know, so that way we can basically vent. And venting is important. And the psychological aspect, I'll let you know, you need to vent. You can't keep it all bottled in. The second thing we need to do is take it to the Lord, right? David took it to the Lord. He knew that if he didn't ask the Lord for the Lord's help, he most likely would not have chosen a righteous path. I mean, he was king after all. And a lot of kings and a lot of people, and even after that, leaders, basically, they don't choose a righteous path because they use their power. Or they basically will, oh, if you're going to do this, I'm going to retaliate. And I'm just going to badmouth you or whatever. That is not the right thing to do. So, as Christians, we are going to be tempted sometimes. Sometimes we will struggle. But we need to remember that when we're in those points where we're struggling, we need to admit that we can't handle it alone. We need to seek help. We need to talk to people. We need to vent. We let it, let it out. And we need to seek guidance. Now, here's my challenge for you guys. As you go out throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month, I want you to first make sure that you're at peace. Because if you're not at peace, you're not going to be able to help anyone else. So if you're struggling right now, take it to the Lord in prayer. Talk to somebody. Please talk to somebody. Second thing I want you to do. I want you to be there, be in the corner for someone who is struggling. There are tons of times where we've all felt we're defeated. We're in the 10th round of a 12 round fight and we feel like there's no way that we can win. But we always had somebody in the past who's been in our corner. Whether it's been a person, uh, an animal, or even God himself. There's always somebody in our corner. I want you to be in somebody's corner and help them. Be emissaries for God. Be his tools down here on earth to help others feel that they're not alone. That they can make it through the battles that is thrown at them. And that they're stronger than they will ever realize. So I want to personally thank you guys for watching all my videos that I've made over the past couple months. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, again, I make these videos for you guys. So if you guys have comments, suggestions, anything like that, 
please feel free to leave me a comment or reach out to me. Uh, that's what I'm here for. And as always, God bless you and good luck.